It's Vicki Harvey with Vicki Sells Grand Strand and Realty One Group Dockside. And as your realtor, it's my job to educate you on the process of what happens if you are using a loan and getting financing to purchase your new home. So today I'm here with Nathan Landers. Thanks for being here, Nathan. You're uh, he's with the he's the owner of Timeless Mortgage. And Nathan is gonna go over like once you're pre-qualified what the steps are and how long that pre-qualification actually lasts. Yeah, for sure. So when you send a buyer over, we're pre-qualifying the borrower off of their income at the state, okay. their credit scores, and any other liabilities that they have. Okay. Depending on the loan officer, you know, in, in our industry, how in depth they go depends on their characteristics and how they go through the process, right? Okay. So for me personally, I make sure that if there's any questions on anything, I want to verify their income, their assets, to make sure that when I issue a pre-qualification letter, it is as good as closed for you guys. Okay, right? that's good. That's right. huge. Yes, um, pre-quals are good for, um, on average, 90 to 120 days, right? So okay. the, the biggest thing there is credit reports expire usually 120 days from the date that we pull them. Okay. As a loan officer, it's your job to make sure that if there's any market changes, right now it's rates, right? right. Rates change multiple times a day, they go yes. up, they go down. It's like going to a roller coaster ride at Carol's, right? <laughs> So we're trying to make sure that if anything changes in the borrower's financial scenario, we're going back through and re-qualifying them basically on a daily basis at That's this point awesome. to make sure that they're still qualified for what they're looking for. Um, so for us, it's a daily venture for all of our clients right. um, to make sure that we're giving them the most service possible to make sure when they go and find a house of their dreams, right. they can actually afford it and we can close the loan for them. So That is awesome because I have had it happen where um, in this market now that my buyer was um, qualified, and it unfortunately wasn't with Nathan, and they, when we went to go purchase the loan, her, she couldn't afford, or when we go, went to go put a contract on the home, she couldn't afford it because the price had fluctuated so much and, and she missed out. Yeah, that's where communication is key with you know all parties involved, myself, you, and our borrower at that right. standpoint, making sure they're fully aware of what they can and cannot afford. You can tell them, hey, you're qualified for $300,000 on a single family detached home. If they don't catch that single family detached home, now they're looking at $300,000 condos, you throw in a $400 a month HOA, yes. now they don't qualify because it wasn't planned that way. So exactly. clear, concise communication is key in any transaction, especially in our market right now. So Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Nathan. And if you have any questions, you can always contact me at 843-222-7800. And Nathan's number is 843-222-2480. It's just like mine, and i got to remember those last ones. So thank you. See you soon. Take Bye. Care.